Hey everybody, um, sorry it's been so long, again, here I am apologizing again, <coughs> excuse me, um, I just acquired this, um, most of you will probably recognize it, the Tyco Shocker, one of the later, uh, one of the later entries, uh, from Tyco, one of the last coolest ones I would say. Um, I'd like to restore this car. That's that was why I got it. Um, it the electronics do work 100%, and I do have the original controller. But the car's got some, you know, I got obviously got some things I need to get for it. Um, the front bumper uh, is missing. It, it's the same kind of bumper that would go on the. Uh, this is pretty much like um, the Arrow Hopper, the Turbo Arrow Hopper Tyco had. It's it's just decaled differently and molded in different in a different color. Um, so the bumper on here, you know, uh, like I said, it would, it also goes on the arrow hopper. And I think it's the, I think the bandit, I think the bandit might have the same bumper. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take a look, but, uh, the real problem is this, the wing here, uh, the wing is not replaceable. I don't think I took it off. I don't think it, no, the, the wing is just molded. It's all just made like that. So replacing the wing, you know, it's, it's not an option. And I thought about tr maybe trying to make one but I'm I might be a little bit out of my skill set to try to make that but if anybody would happen to have some parts or anything uh, like another shell something like this uh, I'm, or a bumper I'm, I'm looking for it um, if anybody would have a line on something like that I've exhausted my uh, my contacts looking for stuff it's also missing a battery door uh, which isn't a huge deal I could probably make a battery door if I had to but the bumper and the wing I just can't do without it and I could I can do the decals myself. I could I'll, you know if if I'm able to fix all this cosmetic stuff, I'd definitely re redecal the car. And uh, the wheels are in such good shape on this thing. I really don't think it was driven a whole lot. The, the, the tires look great. There's no flat spots. Uh, one thing I did notice about this car, and I, I didn't take notice of this before, that the front wheels on these uh, the, the the rim size is the same as what the Bandit has. It's even the same rim, but the tire is not as meaty as the Bandit rim. And I don't have one on hand to, to show the actual difference, but, uh, you know, it, it's just not as meaty. You can see it doesn't have much on it. But they're in really good shape, and I would really like to save this one and make it, um, I know it's a survivor, but I, I would really like to uh, to fix it back up. Um, I'm not going to do a, I, my, I don't have a battery charged and anyway, I don't have a door, so I'm not going to do a running video of it, but just wanted to post this. You don't really see the shocker too often. Uh, I'm thinking it was, like I said, it was one that was made later um, and they probably didn't make very many of them. Might have been like a one year run or something like that. A lot of Tycos uh, that happened with a lot of Tycos and it's why you don't see so many of them because they didn't make them very long. So just another cool RC from back in the day. This is the original controller it, ha it actually has the battery door but not the car and like i said it, it does work fine i just don't have a charged battery to, ch uh, to to run it but just wanted to show you guys this one and maybe just put out put a little message out there if anybody might have some parts or anything like that maybe we can make a deal on something uh hit me up let me know what's happening um <clears throat> i do have a couple of other rcs i have on deck to make videos of so please stay tuned and thank y'all for hanging in there um being my subscribers and everything I, I still can't believe i have that many subscribers it's not a ton but uh I, i'm really shocked uh, i didn't think it would happen like that but anyway um yep Tycho shocker thanks for watching bye